Good morning, Genesis family. I uh, hope you guys have all had a great week, this very first week of 2020. I hope it was good, and I hope your year is off to a great start. And I hope that many of you are joining along with us on our journey of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. This is always one of my favorite things that we do at Genesis. It's just a great way to kickstart our year off in a good uh, a good way. And um, we all know that after the year that we had last year, man, starting our year off in just the presence of God is um, I think so important and so just something that we all need. And so it's been a great first week for me personally. I uh, just started a, a new Bible reading plan of reading the Bible in a year, also following along with our church reading plan. And God has already spoke to me and just showed me some new things already. And so I am super excited for the rest of these 21 days, but also beyond that, that's something that for me, personally um you know i i do struggle with making sure that i carve out that time every single day to spend with god and so that is one of my uh, goals for this year is just to do better in that area and so so far so good and i just continue to pray for that just that desire and that motivation to do that and so that is my goal and i hope that each one of you guys just have a new desire for that too but if you guys are following along with us in our um bible reading plan for these 21 days uh today we found ourselves in the book of mark where we saw uh jesus preparing for uh the passover and he was reclining in a home and a lady came with this beautiful alabaster jar full of very, very, very expensive uh, perfume. And she walked over to Jesus and she broke that jar and she poured it over his head. And basically in preparing him for burial and everyone around her was just like, are you kidding me? Like, what is she doing? You know, if she would have taken that jar and sold it, do you know how much money she would have uh, gotten for that? And Jesus told them, you guys need to stop. You know, um, what she done, what she has done is a beautiful thing. She has offered up something great for me. Um, yes, you could take that money and bless the poor, but the reality is, is that the poor will always be around you and you will be able to use and bless them, but I will not be here forever. And so, um, it was such a beautiful moment where Jesus was like, no, what she has done is great. She brought and gave, uh, gave what she had. And then we saw later in the, the story, in the, chapter of Jesus with his disciples at Passover and the breaking of the bread and break and the the wine and just the Jesus explaining what this means you know what the bread means what the wine means and so it's just two amazing stories and as you read the devotional I loved what it said it's just simply said broken and poured out and um, it challenged us to basically come before Jesus every single day broken and poured out that we would come before him as a broken person the reality is is every day we are broken people but i think many of us may be feeling that even more after the year that we just just finished up we just kind of are we just feel broken or just kind of like we have been pulled through something ridiculously hard and crazy we're tired maybe you were weary but Jesus says come to me broken come to me every single day broken and pour yourself out before me and allow me to work within you and so my challenge for you guys just throughout these next days throughout this entire year is to come before Jesus and fall at his feet as a broken vessel and pour it all out to Jesus and allow him to begin to work within your heart, within your lives. Allow him to restore you and just find new strength and courage in Jesus. And be amazed at what he is going to do in your life, in your situations, in your circumstances, within your family. And just 
stand back and just watch in awe of what he is going to do the amazing the many blessings that he is going to pour out as we come to him and say here i am god i am broken and i am in need of you so come before him broken pour yourself out to him and allow him to work in your lives today so we love you guys we continue to pray for you guys every single week and i just hope that you guys are finding time just to to dig deeper with God throughout these days and my prayer is that God is going to move in your lives in a new uh in a new way that you never thought even possible so I love you guys praying for you guys and I hope that you guys have a great weekend to rest and are preparing for another great week uh coming up love you guys